Many system administrator tasks are a repetitive drudge and senior IT staff do not want to be doing these sort of things on a day-to-day -day basis. They're better off delegating them to junior staff or to contractors from third parties. One of the reasons that such tasks often don't get delegated is simply because they're complex and uh, the um, senior IT staff don't take the time or have the wherewithal to teach the uh, less experienced staff how to do the tasks. So it's far easier for the senior IT staff quite often just to do the tasks themselves rather than delegate. 10% of organisations say they never delegate tasks and only 3% say they're able to delegate tasks whenever they want to. Current research shows there are three other key reasons why uh, delegation often doesn't happen. First is that organisations feel they cannot restrict the range of devices that the delegated administrator has access to. The second is they're not confident about uh, being able to revoke the access rights after they've been granted. And the third is they don't feel they can access the amount of time that the delegated administrator has responsibility for. None of these issues stands out in particular, but if organisations are going to have the confidence to delegate system administrator tasks to junior staff and third parties, then they need to have control of them all and they need the tools in place that will allow them to do that.